I'm here with my friend Kristen. We are in the Second Harvest Food Bank's kitchen. It's called The Kitchen, and it's a fabulous place. And we're talking about apple pie, but what are we gonna do with apples today? We're gonna make an apple pie granola bar. Yum. Yeah. How'd you come up with that? So my kids, they have a long break at school from when they go to school till it's lunchtime. Right. So they needed something that could really fill them up. Okay. And anyway, I was trying to think of something and regular granola bars just weren't hacking it because they were so hungry. So I thought I'm gonna make them something that is just packed full of good things that will give them the energy they need and yeah. keep them going. And anyway, we have some really healthy came up with this. ingredients. I see like flax seeds. Yeah, right? so we're gonna add some flax and we've got some dried cherries and dried apples and walnuts and we have some oats and rice cereal and then we'll make a little awesome. syrup for it too. Okay, so what do we do first? So I'm gonna start by toasting some oats in a pan, just over medium heat. And I'm just and gonna these are just, them. And just regular oats, not, yeah. uh, not like instant or anything? Yeah, or? not quick cooking. Okay, quick cooking. These are just regular oatmeal oats. Okay. But when we toast them, you'll, you'll smell it. It's gonna mm -hmm. make the whole room smell a little fragrant. And then it, I think it gives the granola bars a better flavor. Nice, okay. While Kristen toasts the oats, I cut up some dried apples. It's hard trying to find uh, healthy snacks for kids. It is, and there's a lot of allergen concerns and mm -hmm. things like that. And so the nice thing about this is if you have a child that can't have any of the fruits or nuts or ingredients, mm -hmm. like if you have a good base recipe, then you can kind of work with it and find what helps your yeah. child. So how about your kids? What are their favorite snacks? Oh gosh, they're kind of like a, a salty, the salty a snacks. Salty snack? Yeah, they like pretzels and uh, cheese and crackers and that sort of thing. They do like granola bars though, m more and more these days, uh, because they they realize how quick it is to grab, grab one and, and go. Throw at, mm -hmm. Yes, you know, uh, a few years ago you made your granola. Yes. And I still, do you I still make, make it. it? Yes, oh, every yay. year. <laughs> so the fact that we're making some granola bars. Now you'll be making these on a regular rotation I too. I will, I'm sure I will. I'll get you addicted to them. Can you smell those oats? Mm -hmm. I can, mm. yeah. What are some of your kids' like favorite you know, like lunch items and stuff? I bet you get creative with lunches. You know, I've been trying to hand over a little bit more of their lunch preparation to my kids. Uh-huh, that's great. So we typed up a list of like different ideas of things uh -huh. they can make and take for lunch. So they do like, like pita and hummus, peanut butter and jelly. Uh -huh. I'm a peanut butter and jelly girl. And then just any Me kind too. of like a sandwich wrap and a tortilla. We do all kinds of those. While I chop some walnuts, we throw the toasted oats in a bowl, followed by rice cereal, dried cherries, diced apples, flaxseed, and our walnuts. And then we'll put these over on the mixer okay. and we'll put on the paddle attachment. And just mix it around a little okay. bit so that it's all together. Perfect. And now you can shut it off. Okay. Yep, we just want them to there combine a little. And then we'll come over here and make our syrup for it. We have some coconut oil, which I like to use just because I like its neutral taste mm -hmm. and it has a high smoke point. You could certainly sub butter if you wanted to, okay. but I like, I prefer yeah. coconut oil. And then brown sugar and honey. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're gonna add all of these in here. We stir the syrup and bring it to a boil for two minutes. I'm setting a little timer now because we want to watch this part. If this goes okay. for too long, then it will get really hard on the granola bars. We'll, so we we'll want this to only go. Instead. Yeah. <laughs> well, more like like a lollipop. Like it'll break. Oh dear. And we we yeah. want it to be soft like mm -hmm. caramel. So it's a nice chewy granola bar. So we only want to cook it for about two minutes. Okay. When two minutes are up, we add allspice, nutmeg, and salt. Then we pour our syrup in the oat mixture, mix it up, and dump it into a greased pan. We'll just push it down and then we need to let it cool for mm -hmm. a couple minutes before we score it. All right, these Good. look amazing. Hey, thank you. Yeah, so apple pie granola bars. Yes. That's what you're calling them? Yeah, that's what we call them. I love it. Okay, so Can we, we try get one? to dig in, absolutely. Okay. Oh, what a great like little breakfast too or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm. Mm. They're really filling. Mm -hmm. Which is good because you can taste like the oats mm. and the apples and the walnuts and the cherries. Just a lot of goodness in a little bite. What she said. <laughs> Ditto. I feel healthy already. And very filling. <laughs> I do like them. <laughs> These are great. Thank you for the idea. I love it. You are welcome. To get the recipe for Kristen's apple pie granola bars, head to wagrown.com.